Greetings. I am back home midday, which is pretty unusual, but I don't have a patient this afternoon, so I thought I would just make the most of my time and study because I have my OSCE for CDCA in three days. So I'm gonna make myself a quick lunch I feel like my fitness and my diet have kind of just gone out the window for the past couple of weeks and it's probably just because of the insane amount of stress I've been under and all the studying that I just feel like there are not enough hours in the day for. But I'm gonna make myself a salad because I feel like that's what my body needs and no more pizza and takeout and in and out so something healthy. <laughs> already watering. Mm. It's definitely very tangy. There is a lot of texture going on here. Honestly, I feel like celery is kind of just whatever to me, but for some reason like this, it tastes very refreshing. <laughs> Saturday and I am going to be spending the next hour participating in a DIC event. DIC stands for dentistry in the community and since our D1 year we're required to take these courses because our school places such a huge emphasis on public health. They have students participate in events like these where we either provide OHI or we provide some type of preventative treatment to improve the oral health of the communities around us. So today's DIC event is actually virtual. We are working with a pregnancy center to provide dental education in Spanish. So I thought I would <laughs> film myself presenting some of the slides that I'm assigned to and you all can get a little glimpse of what my Spanish sounds like and kind of some of the topics that we will be discussing. For this event they have us wearing our scrubs. So Business on top, party on bottom. <laughs> we shall see how this goes. I have been finding myself kind of just stumbling through my Spanish in clinic, especially when I'm on the spot and I'm asked to translate for someone. I still struggle with verb tenses. I just feel like there's so much. Grammar in Spanish was never my forte, so. I think since this is, oh my God, also. Edna Mode. I don't know if you can see this, but. My eye has not stopped twitching for the past week and <sighs> it's most likely due to a lack of sleep, stress, increased caffeine. But how am I supposed to get my eye to stop twitching while still studying for boards? I don't know. 
<sighs> but it's annoying because <laughs> I'll just be talking and then my eye starts twitching okay um, anyways back to business all of the Spanish that I know I learned from high school and middle school and because I worked at an FQHC where our patient population was primarily Spanish speaking I picked up a lot more dental terms just by working with the assistants I'm going to log on soon and puedes escuchar a mi presentación Entonces, ¿cómo recibimos caries dentales? Tenemos un diente más bacteria en forma de placa y azúcar en forma de comida o bebidas más tiempo nos lleva a caries en las dientes. Dicho sobre el embarazo. Entonces, eh, el bebé extrae calcio del diente de su madre, pierdes un diente por cada embarazo, las encías siempre sangran durante el embarazo. Esos, esos son como dichos que, que la persona piensa, pero no es verdad. Cuidando la boca de sus pequeños, cepillo lo, cepillos uh, con un cepillo de dientes suave y apropiado para su edad. Dos veces al día, use una pasta de dientes de entrenamiento que no contenga flor hasta los dos años y use hilo dental una vez al día. Caries de la infancia. Si es necesario, use agua en un biberón a la hora de acostarse o reemplace el biberón con un chupón. Um, la, elimina la eliminación diaria de la placa mediante el cepillado y el uso de hilo dental es la mejor manera de prevenir las caries de la infancia. Fluoro. Um, para fluoro tópico es una bactericida para streptococcus mutans. Um, ayuda a re reconstruir um, el esmalte y inhibe la descomposición de la glucosa y se acumula en placa y saliva y disminuye el pH. Y sistémico fortalece el diente desde el interior y hace que el diente sea más resistente a romperse. Uh, nutrición y la salud de la boca infantil de tus hijos. Elija bocadillos saludables y coma menos alimentos con alto contenido de azúcar. Limite, limite el consumo de refrescos y enjuaguese la boca después con agua. Hay carbohidratos simples como pan, pasta y galletas y carbohidratos complejos como vegetales, patatas. En la izquierda um, hay frutas, vegetales y agua que no causan caries. Y en la derecha hay galletas, pasteles, dulces y soda, um, cosas que causan caries. Si toma malas decisiones, los, refri los refrigerios pueden causar problemas dentales. El consumo frecuente de refrescos pueden causar caries cuando el azúcar y el ácido se, combino, se combinan con las bacterias en la boca para formar más ácido. Incluso los refrescos dietéticos sin azúcar conti, contienen ácido que daña los dientes y cada sorbo provoca un ataque de ácido de 20 minutos que puede provocar caries. Las acciones hablan más que las palabras. Haga que cepiarse los dientes y usar hilo dental sea divertido. Canten canciones como Feliz Cumpleaños por dos minutos. Um, deje que su hijo uh, vea su boca y le ayude a cepiarse los dientes. Permita que su hijo elija un cepillo de dientes con su color o personaje favorito. Y hágalo parte de su rutina en la mañana y en la noche. Y haga que ir al dentista sea una aventura emocionante. La prevención es clave. Buenos hábitos de higiene um, oral, alimentación saludable y controles dentales regulares. Oh my goodness, what was that? <laughs> like I said, I've just been stumbling through with my... Spanish speaking and my translating. The two other students that were logged on to this event with me were fluent. Their Spanish is top notch. So I felt like there was a lot of added pressure. I always get so embarrassed 
of my Spanish. My dream in high school was to just live in Spain for two years, become really fluent, and then just speak like, speak with all this ease and confidence, but I feel like it's kind of rough going off of what I know from my high school Spanish because that was almost 10 years ago. The only time I really get to practice my Spanish is in clinic. I actually never signed up to be a translator or to be a Spanish speaker just because I didn't feel super confident in my skills and I felt that there's other students that can take on like all of those Spanish speaking patients but as it turns out we have a lot of Spanish speaking patients and not a whole lot of students who can speak Spanish so I so I figured I might as well just help out since there's only one other student in my CCU that speaks Spanish. Maybe somewhere down the line I'll get like a Spanish tutor or something. Anyways, hope that was somewhat entertaining. We are counting down the days until my INBDE. Also, I didn't realize that I was saying it wrong this whole time. I've been saying INDBE but it's actually INBDE. Just thought that was kind of dumb that I didn't know that's what it was called this whole time. I have about six days left until day one of my boards and I'm gonna take it back to back. Yeah, I'll be done with all of my big exams, so I'm very excited about that. Okay, off to study. I am sitting in the parking lot of Prometric. I saw a bunch of my friends today at the testing center and I passed. <sighs> I feel pretty good. And now we just have boards left and yeah.